Hello, and welcome to another episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I'm Smokey. I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. In today's episode, I'd like to share with you a couple philatelic items that I've received in the mail recently. The first item comes from John in Great Britain. Uh, John has just begun a YouTube channel called John Collect Stamps. I urge you, if you haven't done so yet, please go check out John's channel. Uh, give him a like and a subscribe. I've left a link uh, to his channel in the description of this video. Uh, a few weeks ago, during one of John's videos, he did a stamp giveaway. Uh, he gave away two sets of stamps, uh, one uh, set of stamps from Great Britain, and then one set of stamps from South Africa. Uh, I entered uh, the giveaway and was very pleased uh, to receive a... Uh, a message from John saying that I had won the uh, collection of stamps from Great Britain. So John sent me uh, sent me the stamps in this envelope. He uh, also sent me a very uh, lovely note along with it. So thank you, uh, John, for that. And these are the stamps. Uh, these are the stamps that John sent me. So I'm just going to uh, highlight a few of these. Uh, the first he sent, he sent me uh, these five stamps are uh, penny reds. Uh, each one of these stamps, John has included uh, the plate number, and I really uh, appreciate that, John. Uh, the plate number for these penny reds, uh, if you're looking for them, can be found in the very small uh, lattice work uh, on the sides of the stamp, so you will need a magnifying glass for that, uh, but they can be found there. But John... Uh, John has done that for me, and he's marked those, so thank you very much. Uh, the next uh, thing in this collection is this stamp right here. Uh, that is an original uh, penny red. It is uh, in perfect penny red, and uh, so very happy to add that uh, to my collection. Uh, this is the next stamp that John has sent me, uh, and as you can see uh, from the... Uh, from the photo here, this is a two penny blue. Uh, I don't have one of these. Um, it is a stamp that uh, I've been meaning to purchase, but I just haven't uh, done it yet. So I was really thrilled uh, to receive this two penny blue. Uh, this one is from uh, 1854, 1855. Uh, it has the, uh, you'll notice the white line uh, below the words postage and above the words uh, two pence. Uh, it also has perforations. Uh, so that makes this uh, Scott number 13. So a really nice stamp and one that I am um, I'm eager to catalog and to get into my, um, into my stamp binder. And then you'll notice here are uh, two King Edward V stamps. Or excuse me, two King George V stamps. Uh, followed by uh, two Edward the seventh, and then another three of George uh, the fifth, and then these two are uh, Queen Victoria stamps. There's two of those, and then that brings us to this stamp right here, and I'd like to talk about this stamp for a minute. I'll throw an image of it up here so you can get a, uh, a better view of it. Uh, this is a George the fifth, it is from the British Royal Exhibition of 1925. It is Scott number 203, and it was issued on May 9th, 1925. And uh, I really love the postmark on this. Uh, you can make out uh, the word Wembley. Also, the date uh, that it was postmarked, which was the 27th of May. So a very lovely postmark and a very lovely uh, stamp. Uh, this stamp... Uh, there were two in the series. Uh, there was also a one and a half uh, D value uh, that was issued in brown, and I'll put a picture of it up right here. Uh, but as I was reading about this stamp, uh, I learned a few things. Uh, first, the uh, British Empire uh, Exhibition uh, was an exhibition that was held in Wembley uh, in 1924 and 25. Uh, so this uh, exhibition was held as a celebration of the British Empire. Uh, it was uh, held to raise the country's spirits after the First World War and to promote uh, trade and to strengthen uh, uh, bonds uh, within the British colonies. And so this uh, exhibition was opened by King George V, uh, 
uh, who was accompanied by Queen Mary on St. George Day of April 23rd, 1924. Uh, this exhibition was also uh, the first occasion for which the British Post Office issued commemorative postage stamps. And so two stamps were issued on April uh, 23rd, 1924, the 1D in scarlet and the 1.5D in brown. Uh, so the exhibition was held in 1924, and it was such a huge success uh, that rather than uh, dismantle uh, everything, a decision was made that they would reopen the exhibition again for 1925. Uh, so the British Post Office issued a second printing of stamps identical uh, to the first two stamps apart from the fact that they changed the year. Uh, so in the original stamp, uh, you can see the year says 1924. Uh, and then in 1925, they are the exact same two postage stamps. Uh, the only thing different is they changed uh, the date uh, to 1925. And uh, the exhibition was reopened on uh, May the 9th of 1925. And so what John has sent me is uh, the first stamp from that 1925 exhibition. And uh, very pleased to have in my collection another stamp that I do not have in my British collection. Uh, so hopefully I can, uh, I can find uh, the, uh, the other value stamp, the brown stamp, and, uh, and also the 1924 issues. Um, I was very pleased to, to learn the history uh, that I learned about that. So, so thank you so much, uh, John, for sending that. Uh, and then there are three stamps here. Uh, these are part of a series uh, from 1925, or excuse me, 1935, uh, that celebrate uh, the Silver Jubilee, which is 25 years on the throne uh, for George uh, the fifth. And then rounding out uh, this collection of stamps are these uh, four stamps right here. And uh, these four stamps uh, were issued in 1936 and they were issued uh, for King Edward the eighth. And uh, as I'm sure that you know, uh, Edward the eighth was uh, only king for about 10 months. So that is the only set of uh, postage stamps that were issued uh, featuring Edward VIII. Uh, he abdicated the throne and uh, was replaced uh, by his brother who became uh, George VI. Uh, so very excited to receive those Edward VIII stamps. Uh, about a month ago, uh, I had purchased that same set, uh, but I purchased them mint never hinged. Uh, so I'm excited that now I have a, a mint set and also a postally used set, and that, uh, that'll be great uh, in my British collection. So once again, thank you, John, for your generosity. I was uh, pleased uh, uh, beyond measure to, uh, to receive your, your lovely note, as well as this great set of stamps, and, and uh, they're going to have a, uh, a great home and great place in my, uh, my British stamp collection. So thank you again. Uh, the, uh, the last item I want to show you and uh, we go from Great Britain uh, to the U.S. Uh, one of my goals this year is to focus uh, a whole lot more on, uh, on the philately side of things. Um, I did a whole lot with post-crossing uh, the last couple years, and I'm going to continue to do post-crossing and continue to, to swap postcards. Uh, but I really want to focus on uh, building up my stamp collection, organizing it. And so uh, there are a couple areas that I'm really focused on this year. Uh, one is my British stamp collection I really want to focus on. Uh, the other area is uh, my micro countries. Uh, and we'll talk about that in, in future videos. Uh, and then also uh, my U.S. collection. And so I purchased a, uh, a couple U.S. stamps. And uh, this is the, uh, the first one. I actually purchased two of them uh, in... Uh, both of them in used condition, and I will I'll throw a picture of one of them up here next to me. Uh, this is uh, U.S. Scott number 207. Uh, it was issued on August the 7th, 1881. It is a green in color stamp and uh, features George Washington, the uh, first president of the United States, and uh, this particular stamp has a value of three cents. Um, 
I purchased these two uh, because I just think they're beautiful stamps. Uh, they're copies that I didn't have uh, for my U.S. collection. And so I was very pleased to be able to find them. They were uh, really inexpensive. I, I don't even remember what I paid for. Uh, I bought four stamps. And I don't remember what I paid. I purchased them on eBay. It was an auction situation. And so I, I want to say maybe three or four dollars for all four stamps. Probably not. Probably not that much. I just, uh, I don't remember right offhand. Um, but, uh, but really pleased to receive uh, uh, these uh, US 207s. And then I bought uh, two more stamps in the same auction. And that are, that is uh, these right here. Uh, these are US Scott uh, number 210. And I will throw a photo of it up here. Uh, I bought two of these. Uh, the one in the image I bought because I really like uh, the cancellation. I thought it was a neat cancellation, and so I bought it. Um, this is the, the second one. As you can see, the cancellation is somewhat different. But like I said, this is U.S. number 210, uh, issued on October 1st, uh, 1883. Uh, it also features George Washington. Uh, and has the value of two cents. So I will uh, be adding uh, these stamps to my uh, US album, and I'm very happy to do so. So that's it, just a short video today. I uh, wanted to share with you the uh, stamps that John sent me, as well as the, uh, the eBay purchase uh, that I just received a couple days ago. Uh, so if you haven't done so yet, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we're almost at 250 subscribers, and uh, so uh, if you can help us get to 250 and you haven't done so, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Also, uh, give the uh, give the video a like and leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what uh, what your favorite stamp was. Uh, let me know what uh, you're focusing on this year. Uh, are you collecting and and uh, are you focusing on one country or one topic, one theme? Uh, let me know in the comments. I read every comment and uh, respond to every comment, and I really, uh, really enjoy interacting with you that way. Speaking of interacting with me, uh, you can reach me on Instagram. There's a, a link in the video uh, to reach me at Instagram. But I also have a brand new email address for those of you who don't have Instagram. Uh, it is snailmailwithsmokey at yahoo.com. Uh, all one word, all lowercase. Uh, snail mail with smoky uh, at yahoo.com that'll also be in the video description so if you want to send me an email uh, you can do that as well so thank you so much for watching uh, I really really appreciate it I hope you have a great day and we will see you very soon bye bye